Football is back. The Bengals are ready to play, and that means it's time to tailgate. They're about to go into overdrive. One of the things you crave at a tailgate is chicken wings, right? <laughs> this is Andrea <laughs> Drennan Keener with Beef O'Brady's in Newport, and she's here with some great things to remember if you're going to try to make the perfect wing. And you brought pizza and all kinds of other stuff, too, Andrea. I brought a variety of different type of tailgating items. Anything that's yeah. perfect, you can make it home, you can come to the restaurant, pick it up, take it with you. Our location's only a few minutes away from the stadium, so it's I know. perfect that to pick like up a few wings. That sounds like a lot wings. easier to do than to me. Absolutely. <laughs> and of course, we have our, you know, sauces here that you can buy. So if you did yeah. want to do your own chicken wing at home. Uh, yeah, tell me about the different sauces that you well, have. Well, we have four that, you're, that are available for okay. purchase, but we have a total of 12 that's on the menu right. with two, two additional different How do you wraps. make a perfect wing? I've never made wings before. Well, you want to start, when you're doing a fresh wing, mm -hmm. straight into the fryer, you want to start at least 350 degree fryer. Okay. And you want to make sure that you cook your wing to at least 165 degrees All internal right. temperature for about 12 minutes. Do you put a, you don't put a meat thermometer in a wing, do you? So just like 12 minutes and 12, hope it's right. 12 to 14 minutes. Okay. If you like a crispier <laughs> wing, wait for it to turn nice golden brown All like right. this here. Yeah, this is what it's going to look like and yeah. you know it's done when it's nice and brown. Fresh out of the fryer. Yeah. And then you want to pour your sauce onto you your wings. You just toss it in the sauce? Toss it in the sauce. This is our signature buffalo sauce. Okay. You can make this at home using a Frank's Red Hot sauce and some butter. Oh yeah, I like Frank's. Similar to a recipe there. That's a good one. And you just want to pour into your bowl. And you've got your blue cheese and celery on the you side have there already to go. Blue cheese and celery. There's controversy with ranch and blue cheese, but I'm <laughs> I'm a blue cheese girl. Now well, you've you've got some nachos nachos you're going to show us how to Ultimate make today too. Ultimate steak nachos. Ultimate steak nachos. Of course, All you right. want to start with chips. In the mm -hmm. restaurant, we fry them fresh. Oh, okay. Put a little seasoning. Salt and pepper. A little garlic, salt and pepper. Oh, good. Okay. It's a wonderful blend. Yeah. Then you're just okay. going to start dumping on We're the good stuff. We're going to start dumping. All types of our nachos start with the queso dip. You okay. have to have the warm queso dip there on your chips. Yum. Queso. And you put steak on yours, not A just steak. ground beef. We have steak, Inga steak. We have chicken nachos. We also have chili cheese nachos, which okay. are all excellent. I'm going to help you dump it on because we're running out of time. But you can go see Andrea and the good folks at Beef O'Brady's in Newport. They've also got locations around the tri-state. And we've got the recipe for the wing sauce at local12.com. Just click on the red get it button. Andrea, thank you. Thank you for having Good me. Day. <laughs> uh,